As with everything, there's always a, a lot more detail that you can get into if you're interested in what's driving the ecological health of your waterway. Uh, regional councils obviously have a lot of experts that you can contact and discuss these things with. They also have a lot of valuable information on their websites, as do many of the farming industry bodies. You can also set up a catchment care group or go down and collect water samples. There are a large number of these around the country now that go out each month and collect a water sample and then have it analysed for the nutrients, the nitrogen and phosphorus and for some of the bacteria that can be in our waterways, the E. coli. You can also collect some of the invertebrate samples and have them sent to a lab or get an ecologist in to assess it and go beyond just looking at whether they're creepy crawly or slimy things and work out from the exact species composition of the invertebrates which are living in your stream how healthy it is on a scale and then potentially also work out from the different life cycles, life characteristics of those invertebrates, what contaminant might be driving the health of your waterway, whether it's a fine sediment or nutrients or potentially something else.